Today we are going to discuss about GNR diode voltage current characteristics as well as the regulation of the GNR diode. Okay, the below circuit shows the GNR diode forward bias as well as reverse bias diagram. Now, first I am going to give this forward bias connection. For that, I am going to take a 1 kilo resistance. We can place this 1 kilo resistance anywhere on the breadboard. Thereafter, take the GNR diode anode to the resistance second and one kilo resistance second end. now how to identify the anode and cathode so here the black spot indicates the cathode and this one indicates the anode now sir anode is connected to the one kilo ohm resistance second end thereafter cathode anywhere on the breadboard okay now take ammeter positive to the cathode now this is my ammeter positive to the cathode vertically on the same place, thereafter ammeter negative anywhere on the breadboard. Okay. Now connect the voltmeter in parallel with this G0 diode. Now positive is connected to the anode, vertically on the same place, thereafter negative is connected to the cathode, vertically on the same place. Okay. Now we need to get the RPS here. RPS positive is connected to the 1 kilo ohm resistance first end. Now this is my RPS positive to the 1 kilo ohm first end. Now this is my 1 kilo ohm first end. 1 kilo ohm resistance first end. Thereafter RPS negative to the ammeter negative. Where is ammeter negative? Here this is my ammeter negative. If you observe here, this is my ammeter negative. Connect here. Okay. Now this is my forward bias connection. Now, by varying the supply voltage, I am going to note down the voltmeter as well as ammeter readings. Now, here I am going to switch on the supply for that. <coughs> now, vary this supply voltage. Here, this is similar to your P N junction at forward bias only. Now, here I am increasing supply voltage. It is 0.3, whereas the current is showing zero. Now, verify for the next value. It is also showing it as 0 point, 0.4 also. For 0.5 also it is showing 0. For uh, 0.6 the current is starts increasing. Up to that value it is 0. That means after cutting voltage only this current starts increasing. That is what we need to observe in the forward bias. Now sir, now when you increase the supply voltage further, the voltage across the GNR is 0.7 and there is a sudden increase in the current. Okay. That is what we need to observe. At point eight, it is 29.2. Now there is a sudden increase in the current after reaching the cutting voltage. Okay. Now this is a forward bias connection. Okay. Now I am going to look after the reverse bias. For that I am going to switch off the supply. Here we need to interchange the G naught diode. That's it. Remaining all the connections are same. Okay. See here. If you observe here, only here, here, only G naught diode is interchanging. Remaining all the connections are similar only. Now here I am interchanging the G naught diode terminals. Just interchange the terminal. Remaining all the connections are same. Why? Because here cathode is connected to the anode. Now it is reverse bias connection. Okay. Now again I am going to switch on the supply. <coughs> now apply the voltage. Now here we need to observe whether this voltage is maintaining constant or not. Now see here, when you increase the voltage to the 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0.9, 1.2, 1.4, 2.4 different values. Now see here, when, my, when I increase the supply voltage to the 6.2, here I am getting the voltage as 4.5 and the current as 1.7 or 1.8. If I further increase the supply voltage, if further increase the supply voltage, there is no change in voltage across GNR diode, only the current is going to increase. That is what we need to observe in the reverse bias characteristics. Okay. Now, see here. Further, I am increasing supply voltage, but there is no variation in the voltage across GNR diode. Only the current is increasing, if you observe here. Okay. Now, see here. I am increasing 16.3. Voltage is maintaining constant. Supply current is increasing. Now, see here. Again, I am increasing. Voltage is maintaining constant. Current is 
increasing. Voltage constant, current increasing. Again, some 29. Voltage is maintaining approximately constant and the current is increasing. So, in the case of Gina David, in reverse bias, it is going to act like a voltage regulator. That is what we need to observe in the reverse bias of your Gina David. Okay. Now, we are saying that it is a voltage regulator. Now, we need to verify that by varying the supply voltage as well as by varying the load. Okay. That For that, we need more two circuits. I will show those two circuits. Before that, I am going to switch off all the supply. <coughs> now, series circuit. Now here, if you have, this is the circuit for verification of voltage regulation. Now see here, here the supply voltage is increasing, load resistance is maintaining constant. Okay, now we need to verify whether the voltage is maintaining constant or not by varying the supply voltage. If the voltage is maintaining constant, then that is called your voltage regulation. Similarly, in this case, load is varying, load is varying, whereas supply voltage is constant. In this case also, we need to observe voltage across the load, whether it is maintaining constant or not. That means in both the cases, we need to verify this voltmeter reading. If the voltage